I'm just going to do a quick film about chitin potatoes. <clears throat> Some of you may have already done this, so just a quick one on various things you can use and how to get the best out of chitin potatoes. Okay. Right, time for chitin potatoes. When you chip potatoes, make sure you mark which potatoes are what. I've got International Kidney and Lady Balfour. And what you're trying to do is encourage early root growth. Now you need to put these in a light, frost-free area um, because you want strong root growth. Now, you don't want to be like it is when you've forgotten potatoes at the back of the larder and when you pull them out, there's long, pow, thin, spindly roots. That's not what we want. We want strong, healthy, robust roots. Now, some gardeners chit, some gardeners don't. Um, it is thought that this just um, creates an early start for the potato. Gives them a head start in the ground. Now, my Balfour, okay, so there's a lot of eyes. This is what you're looking for. These on that side, none on that side. So I'm going to put them that side up in my egg box. There we go. Again, look on each tuber for your eyes and have but when you find the most, put them that side up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is they're both marked up. They're both going to go in a light room until the chips come through and hopefully give in strong roots. I'm giving the potatoes a head start. While we're on potatoes, I want to show you a really simple recipe. It's vicious bar soup, and I'll show you the end. So it's just potatoes and leeks in a bouillon or a vegetable stock. Now, I let this cook in my slow cooker so it can cook whilst I'm at work. Um, and that's literally all it is, uh, a bit of bouillon stock leek and potato and as you will know vicious while leek and potato soup is fab what i do is i when i've whizzed it up at the end of cooking i add some blue cheese and serve it with sourdough or a crusty loaf and you know what that is a delicious meal just from two crops from your allotment. Try it. Onions and shallots. Now this time of year we all get delivery of our onions and shallots and before you're ready to plant them as soon as they arrive unbag them. Make sure there's no mould on them. Give them a gentle squeeze because if they're squishy they're not going to grow either. Leave them somewhere dry until you're ready to plant them. So I do that with onions and I do that with shallot. That one's already sprouting. Um, this the healthy one, an unhealthy one, and when you press it, it's a little bit wrinkly and scrub. This way you prevent losing more of your sets to mould and rot until you're ready to plant apples.